Good morning, good morning, good morning. What another blessed day we have to come and serve the Lord. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we come thanking you now, thanking you for all that you do and the ways that you do it, God. We thank you for your abundance of love toward us. We thank you now, God, that you've even given us another chance to be able to share your word with your people and your people to be able to experience your power and your presence. We come now, God, acknowledging that we definitely need you, and each one of us needs you for whatever our needs may be and that you're fully aware. So we come, God, with anticipation. We come, God, with expectations. God, we come now with hope, knowing that whatever we're going through, God, you're going to bring us out. We thank you now, God, for power of prayer, and we thank you now, God, for the presence of Jesus in our lives. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This morning, I just want to remind us, and we, we know this, but sometimes situations happen in our lives and we are challenged and the enemy comes in and it, we, we are allowed to, to lose focus because of our present circumstances. But I want to encourage you right now to know this with beyond any shadow of a doubt, that God is in control. God is in control. God is fully aware of every one of our situations. God knows even when we're going through how we're going to come out. And if we know that God is in control, it, it takes the expectations of what's going to happen away from us. I must admit, sometimes I've tried to and wanted to be, and my family may say that I want to be in control. I, I want to know what's going on now. I want to be able to determine what the outcome is going to be based upon the present situations. But unfortunately, we as believers must understand when we are trying to put ourselves in control, the outcome that we may want may not necessarily be the outcomes that appear. But when God is in control, he already has control of the outcome. He already knows what's going to happen. And so we, we place our faith and trust in God and not in ourselves and not in man. We can expect God to do what he does, and that's take care of his children. This morning I want to share with you a passage of Scripture from the book of Philippians, uh, one that may be familiar to most of us, if not all, Philippians 4, uh, verses 6 and 7. The Bible says, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. See, this, this passage of Scripture gives us a great hope. It tells us that if we want to be able to not feel worry and to not feel doubt and to not feel uh, fear, then we must know that the antidote or the solution to that is prayer. Well, see, I want to encourage you right now that so many of us, uh, we must understand that being concerned and excited is okay, but being worried and anxious is not okay. It's really what you're saying is, God, I don't trust you that you're going to work this thing out. And I know that some of us have situations maybe on our jobs that creates concern or makes for some is creating worry and creating anxiety. Some have situations in their homes, and there may be those in schools who are having worry and anxiety. But what I want to encourage you today with is that the presence of God's peace, which gives you power, will allow us not to be caught up in anxiety and worry, but will be caught up in having a mind and heart that stayed on God. See, this scripture even lets us know, and people may not recognize this, and people may not even understand this, that inside, our, inside, our, our inner attitude may not be reflective of our outside circumstances. Well, what are you saying? See, I can still have joy on the inside when everything around me and people looking around me is a negative and it's a bad situation. Because remember, my joy is from within. My, my joy comes from God. And really, in the honor, honesty, my joy comes from knowing that no matter how it looks right now, things are subject to change. That's why we know that God is in control. The scripture reminds us that as we look and as we seek God in our present circumstances and our situations, we must first of all recognize that the power of prayer 
Prayer is honest communication with God. Prayer is worshiping. It's an attitude, an attitude that brings a gratitude, a thankfulness to God, an opportunity to talk to God and to tell him all about it. And when we talk to him and tell him all about it, we don't continue to to have it in us, around us, affecting us, because we know that once we turn it over to God, as a matter of fact, it was always his. We just recognize that it wasn't ours to have any longer. And when we recognize that attitude and when we recognize that our prayer and when we recognize that our relationship with God, he tells us to make supplication. He he tells us to make a request. He tells us that whatever you need, whatever your desires are, he's saying to us this morning to tell me about it. You tell me about it. I know about it, but you tell me about it because I'm in control of the situation. God is in control, as I said earlier. He's control of the outcome. And when God is in control of the outcome, we don't have to be disappointed. When we say, God, I trust you, God, I believe that you're going to work it out, we got to stand in faith right now, believers. We got to know that God's way is always the best way. We got to know this morning that God never disappoints us. We got to be right now steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the works of the Lord. We got to be able right now to know that the enemy is trying to to steal our joy because anxiety steals our joy. Worry steals our joy. It takes us out of our present moment of being happy to trying to think about a moment of negativity that may never come. And I just want to encourage you again, somebody this morning, to maximize the moment of your joy to maximize the presence of God in your situation, to know that God is fully aware. How do I know? Because he said in the word that he said he'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us. And since he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us, that's why we can pray. That's why we can make our supplication or make our request known unto him. And see, that's the part I want you to get excited about. Even while you're praying, even while you're making supplication, then when we finish, then we begin to, Lord, I thank you right now for hearing and answering my prayer. Lord, I thank you that the situation is turning around and it's in my favor. Somebody this morning needs to know that God is fighting your battles. That's why you don't have to worry. God is arranging things for your favor. That's why you don't have to worry. God is making everything work out for your good. Even when you can't see the way out, God has already created a way out. That's why we say God is in control. And because God is in control, somebody this morning, I just want you to be encouraged. I just want you to know that whatever your present circumstances may be, whatever your present situation may be, I just want you to know that God is doing something for your good. He's never late. He's never early, but he's always on time. God is in control. You see, if we as believers will understand that God is in control, I heard it said, the longer you continue to entertain that's not what's from God, the more you propose, the more you postpone what is. See, we're missing out on our blessings because we're worried. We're missing out on our blessings because we are anxious. We're, we're missing out on things, and we're, we're missing out on opportunities because we're, in, we're entertaining that which is not of God, and we're missing that which God wants for us to have. So today I say to you, don't worry, but be happy. Today I say to you that God is in control. And because God is in control, even when that verse 7 it says about the peace of God, and see, that peace of God that surpasses all understanding, and that, and that peace of God brings its presence. And, and when that peace of God brings its presence, then our hearts and minds will be stayed on Christ. See, we got to believe this morning that because God loves us and because God's love is so great for us and because we can get excited about knowing that he has a peace that will surpass all understanding, That's why I say turn it all over to God this morning, somebody. That's why I say that God is in control of every situation. And that's why since God is in control, we can relax. We can rejoice. We can shout hallelujah because we know this, that whatever it is that may be going on, this too shall pass. And because it's going to pass, God is working something out for your good. So I encourage you right now to know that the power of peace is in knowing that God is in control. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you now that your people will understand this morning that you are in control. And because you're in control, God, they don't have to worry about anything. 
They don't have to worry about tomorrow. They don't have to worry about even in the book of Matthew where it talks about the sixth chapter of things that we don't have to worry about. God, we thank you now that in your presence there is power. And we thank you, God, that you are in control. And because you're in control, God, we can be excited and we can have a peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you now, God, for Jesus. Thank you now, God, for your word. Thank you now, God, for this day. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.